Hey friends, Lucian here with the Bullish Bears team. I wanted to make this video on interactive brokers short selling, uh, how to basically short with interactive brokers, um, and uh, kind of just show you a little bit. Um, you know, I'm making this uh, video during the pre market, so I'm going to show you some of the stocks um, that might be either running pre market, might have some news, um, and then show you what type of availability there is at the current moment with interactive brokers to short the stock. Obviously, you know, when the market opens, you know, short availability may change, uh, but at least, you know, Interactive Brokers has a very simple tool. They even tell you how many shares are available. So they're uh, really great for accurately, um, <clears throat> you know, like uh, sharing what uh, stocks that are, that are available to short. Um, they aren't the best broker on the planet to do it, but they're really good overall. Uh, they're more, they're really economical. Uh, their trade commissions are very inexpensive. And again, their platform is just very easy uh, to locate and see what shares are available to short. So I'm actually just going to wing this video this morning here. I have no preconceived, um, <clears throat> you know, thoughts on what stocks to look at. I'm actually just kind of looking at my watch list uh, during the pre-market just to see what might be running and uh, what might be available So um, to short. So I made my watch list last night, and I'm also going to use trade ideas to pull up a few that might be running this morning and then see if there's you know, any uh, shorts of, uh, shares available to short. Now, again, doesn't mean that I believe that the stock's going to go down completely, completely uh, but it just means that maybe there'll be a reversal. So maybe I'll watch the run up and play the reversal, or maybe it'll be the first... Uh, green or first red day after a few green days, <clears throat> you know, it's just all a matter of what the strategy is. But being able to play stocks both ways is really key, you know, whether you can long it or short it uh, and not have a preconceived bias is uh, very helpful when trading. So if you look at this one right here, TTOO, if I click on the stock symbol, you'll notice up here there'll be a little button that says shortable. If you if it says green, that means it's shortable. If it's red, it's not shortable. And then if there's no green dot there, uh, they basically probably have to locate shares to short. So um, you'll see up here, um, if I go and I hover over the green dot, you will see that there are at least 35,600 shares to short. So it tells me exactly how many sh uh, shares there are to short. So again, not that I'm going to short this one this morning, but it's great to be able to keep an eye on it. If I'm looking to intraday trade it, day trade it, uh, I can watch and see if it goes up or if it goes down and play it either way. So just by clicking on the actual stock symbol, it tells you uh, whether if there's shares to short or not. <clears throat> I personally use hotkeys. Uh, if I click in here, I'll show you control H. I use hotkeys to get in and out of my trades. Um, so you'll see I have a hotkey for buying at the limit uh, or buy limit at the ask or sell limit at the bid. And then I also have uh, buy limit at the ask plus five cents and sell bid uh, at the ask uh, minus five cents. So those are my hotkeys. Uh, so to get out of a position, whether I'm covering a short or uh, whether I'm selling, I give myself kind of usually a five cent buffer just in case the stock moves a couple cents, um, I can get out. <clears throat> Again, it's just all a matter of your trading preference. So um, that's how I do it. I use hotkeys. You can go over here and obviously buy, or you can obviously sell if you're shorting the number of shares. Uh, you can do a limit order, um, you know, change the price how you want it, and then cl click submit. Uh, to do your orders. I highly uh, recommend using Interactive Brokers uh, trading account or uh, virtual trading account just to practice uh, if you've never shorted before or even longing or just using their platform in general. You want to make a bunch of uh, practice trades with them just to make sure you feel comfortable uh, with their platform. But that's how you short. You know, basically you go to sell, you put in your limit order, click submit, or use hotkeys. Again, I just personally use hotkeys. <clears throat> so just look at a few more here. Look at Caper. So here's one this morning um, that uh, it's been actually running. It had a big uh, day yesterday. You can see here a big green candle here. Might have a potential 
Might be potentially going up to do a gap fill above. We'll see. Um, but what, as you'll notice, there are no. Um, this this contract will avail will be available for short if the shares can be located. So, at this point, there is no green dot, which means that there are no short uh, shares to short. Um, but you can keep an eye on it. See if they do end up getting shares to short uh, at some point in the morning. Um, just keep an eye on it. Let's go down here, NVAX. You'll see here, uh, this one has at least 2.82 million shares. So over 2 million shares is a lot more than the 36,000 shares that were available for TTOO. Again, all stocks will be different. But what you'll notice here, which is pretty cool, you'll see one here that's you know a dollar fifty stock, a three dollar stock that has shorts available, or shares to short available, which is awesome. Where as a company like TD Ameritrade, you'd never get shares to short of these types of companies. So uh, you know that's a huge advantage with interactive brokers. You'll see KTOV. Here's a dollar fifty stock. You'll see up here, there are 15,000 shares available to short. <clears throat> Again, you just look at the patterns. You wanna see if a stock's overextended. Do you wanna see if it's news? Uh, you wanna see if it's been running up. Like right here, you'd see there would've been two really great green days. And then that first red day, that would've been a nice day to short it if there was uh, shorts available or shares to short available. So there's a few there. So let me go to a couple this morning that are really running. Uh, or have some volume going. We'll go to A, E, Z, S. I'm looking at trade ideas right now. So I'm seeing the gappers that are gapping up. And we will see here, uh, what day is today? Yep, today's the 19th. You'll see there's a nice gap up here. You'll see uh, 151,000 shares. So right at $1.60. So you'll see, let me just zoom in here. <clears throat> Prices right around here might be potentially going up uh, to potentially go into that gap fill. Um, and you'll see, uh, looks like there was some potential news going on this morning. So perfect example, this is one you can long, but look over here right now, there are not um, shares to short available, but I'll keep it on my watch list to see. Uh, sometimes they have them, sometimes they don't. Um, if you go to, let's look at XGTI. Some days are really good for uh, these stocks, and then some days it's difficult to locate shares, but that's like with any broker. XGTI. Okay, see, I'm not even looking preconceived notion whatsoever. You'll see another one that's uh, got some news this morning. Uh, it's been going up. Um, there isn't shares to short available, but I can keep it on here. So you'll see a couple have uh, shares to short, and then a couple do not. Um, let's try a couple more. Let's look at NVAX. Oh, okay, I already have that one on here. <clears throat> that one does have shares to short. It's got some volume moving this morning. If I look at that one, um, you'll see there's a little bit. There's a uh, oh, 109,000 shares. Um, but again, you know, some again, it's all hit or miss sometimes. But at least you'll know there's that clearly definable indicator. Uh, on how to short or if what's available to short with interactive brokers. So they make it really easy. Uh, so I don't want to make this video too long, but um, at least you'll be able to see very simply with interactive brokers uh, what's available to short. And basically I use hotkeys, but you can use hotkeys or you can go over to the order entry um, to, uh, you know, short. Um, if you are not um, a member of our Facebook community yet, come and join us. Uh, we have a great group of uh, traders from around the world. We have over 12,000 members, and we're growing by about at least 100 members a day. So come and join us if you are not a member already. We just love helping each other out. We have a lot of fun every day together. Uh, so head over to Facebook, uh, look at the group Bullish Bears, or you can head over to our website, bullishbears.com, and click on the banner here, or click on the link in the video below, and it'll take you right over to our website, and you can come and join us. Uh, make sure